Good morning, Timeless Travelers. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Trish Smith. I am the owner-operator of Trish's Timeless Travels Travel Agency and the face of this vlog. So today, we are back in Dubai. We are on the seventh day of this cruise. Uh, this cruise turns around from Dubai and comes back on Friday, which today is Friday. And then it ports overnight, and then you can disembark tomorrow. Some people are disembarking today. We are disembarking tomorrow. Today, we are headed to the Burj Al Arab Hotel. We're gonna show you inside. You do have to have a reservation of some sort to get inside that hotel. We have one, so we're gonna show you what it looks like. Come along with us. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. guys we're about to get in our uber to get over to the jamira beach hotel that's our pickup spot for the buggy to take us to dubai uh to the burj al arab so here's our uber getting in our uber now we'll see you when we get there All right, guys, we made it to the Jamira Beach Hotel. Um, we are going in here where we will go to the, uh, get our uh, shuttle to the Burj Al Arab. Thank you. So it looks like we are gonna check in here and get our shuttle over to the Burj. We're on the buggy now, and we are headed over to the Burj Khalifa. Um, they're going to take us over to start the tour now. Thank you for joining us on the Inside Burj Al Arab tour. We are looking forward to guiding you through this world-famous landmark and taking you on a journey which few have gone on before. Construction began on this mega structure in 1994. The island took two years to create. And the stunning sky view bar, 27 floors up, with uninterrupted ocean views. As we journey closer to the hotel, you get a greater sense of how tall and majestic this megastructure is. We are about to start crossing the coveted 340 meter long bridge leading to Burj Al Arab, where many wish to tread, but few have been able. We have constructed a platform, purpose-built to capture that most iconic of Dubai moments, with the hotel perfectly situated behind you. If you would like to take some photos, we will be stopping short and have a camera set up for the perfect shot. carpet for us. Thank you. Thank you. 
linen girls. At the West End. Good morning. Hello, hello. Good morning, How are thank you? you. How are you doing, sir? Thank you. Thank you. All right, so upon arrival, we got a cold, moist towelette and a mint lemon drink. So, Mm -hmm. Cheers. We'll be taking through the lobby and we'll showing you all the features that we have. This first, we'll show you what's outside with our custom made and otherwise. And also, if you look to your left and to your right, you're going to see two bar aquariums of the 30 types of fish. Not only that, once you all step onto the escalator, I want you all to look up. You'll be standing in one of the world's coolest meat arenas, 180 meters high. And the colors you can see there are similar to the carpets they are all surrounded with. That represents earth, fire, water, and finally, air. Yeah. After all that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be taking you to the most exclusive suite of the Bridge of the So, are you already yes. Yes. excited? Yes. yes. I'm glad to hear it. Right, there's one favor I'd like to ask from all of you. Just for the first floor of the lobby, we won't be stopping to take any photos or pictures for the privacy of our in house guests checking in and checking out. And this is still a functioning hotel. Once we step onto the escalator, you can take as many photos and pictures as you like. Okay. So, are you ready? Yes. yes. With you. <laughs> So before we go along, my question to all of you is anyone here afraid of heights? No? Afraid of heights? No? Yes? What is yeah. it? Are you afraid of heights now? No. You sure? All right, right now we're gonna step inside the panoramic lift. This lift will take us to the highest floors in 47 seconds, 200 meters above sea level. It'll be very fast and very short. That's why I asked in the first place. Okay. <laughs> so for all of us to enjoy the view, we'll be using two lifts. The first lift is gonna move upstairs and then the second one will follow after. Okay. So ladies first, ma'am. After you, what are you? You wanna take me out with a little? Oh, nice. So this is our last day on the ship, actually. Yeah. My ears are popping. Really? Yes. Take it to the world suite, the same suite that Nelson Mandela, Bud Clinton, George Bush, and also many other celebrities came to stay in. So, like all the places, you love it. So, please call us. Listen. Oh, awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ladies and gents, once again, welcome to the Royal Suite. My name is Moob. I will be your Royal Butler throughout the journey. And it is my job to make you feel like superstars. But 
before we start, tell me how do you find our entrance hall? Oh, beautiful. Very beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Personally, I'm impressed with the gold and the marble staircases. We have the 24 karat gold leaf ceilings and walls. On my right hand side, your own private elevator. All designed to amaze and delight you. The Royal Suite is so bright and so colorful, and it will look amazing on your camera. So feel free to take as many pictures and videos as you wish. The only humble request I have is we are not allowed to sit on any furniture, as it is all classified as antiques. Other than that, we have seven rooms to discover. We're going to start by the living room and get ready for the burst of colors. <laughs> This is entirely too much. So how do you find the, the colors? A lot. <laughs> so the interior designer of Quan Shu said that fire is the strongest and the brightest color of all the king of the palettes and that fire is the one that perfectly matched the royalties. So that's why we can see more reds and yellows. The royal suite is most inspired by the element of fire. It's a very huge carpet. Yes, it is. And if you got an interest in two TVs, we have the fabulous 55-inch TV, 24 karat gold-plated, especially customized by LG to Burj Al Arab back in 1999. So everything you can see inside the Royal Suite, ladies and gents, was here back in 1999. Nothing changed since the opening. So everything you can see here was here. Queen of the Kings. This is this is the Queen's bedroom. <laughs> This is the king's bedroom. This is the king's bedroom? Yes. Now we can see the king's bedroom. Answer it is for you. I'm dying to. <laughs> this closet is a little bit bigger. What do you say? A little bit. Just, just a tad bit just bigger. Just a tad bit bigger. Just a skosh. Just a skosh. Yeah, that plant is here. That's the old that plant. This is the new one. Drop down. Oh, yeah, those are houses. Yeah, mm -hmm. Drop down to the How is it too? Oh, it's great. <laughs> Thank you. 
just go up step to the left, this will be the final two rooms. Upstairs first. Too much. Too much. The interior designer used to call it the sunburst room. The sunburst room, it's because it's the only room where we can see the fourth element of nature combined together. We saw more reds and yellows in the living room, more pink in the queen's bedroom, but here we can see a balance of the fourth element. We have the sky representing the air, the flowers for the nature, the earth, the red colors for the fire, and the blue sea is representing the water. And the final room is the library, same library where Nelson Mandela sat at. He was the first person who stayed in the royal suite. He was obviously invited by the royal family just after he came out from jail. Nelson Mandela. Oh. Yes, so he was the first person who stayed in the royal suite. Wow. And that library can also be converted into a third bedroom upon request because it features its own dressing room and bathroom on the right side. So it's totally up to the guest. If he wants to keep the library, we keep the library. But if he wants a third bedroom, we can do that as well. Yep. All right, guys, the tour at the Burj Al Arab is over. We are headed to our next adventure at the Dubai Mall. We'll see you guys shortly. We are at the Dubai Mall, guys. We are on our way to the real cinema. Y'all know we don't miss any MCU opening weekends. We're going to go see Ant-Man. Come with us. All right, we are in the Dubai Mall. We are headed to find the real cinema. Don't know where that is, so we're gonna look around and figure it out. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think the I think the movie's this way. Let's see. All right, we're just going by the powers of deduction. It says cinema parking. Oh, there it is, right there underneath the real cinemas. All right. <laughs> So we are, we pay attention for our fall up the escalator. Um, so I just wanna give y'all a little taste of Dubai Mall as we're on our way to the movie theater so you can see what it looks like. The Bagari store, David Morris. I won't let you go in the Cartier store. Okay, go on in there, see what happens. Go on in there. Go on in there. All right. Cinema. Are we going the right way? <laughs> uh, I don't see real cinema up there anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere by the ice rink. So we'll just keep going this way eventually running so how about last time we were here in, in 2019 guys we were in this mall we walked in this mall for hours and i say hours i mean hours we never saw that part of the mall over there where it says the souk never even saw it that's how huge this mall is we never even saw it so these interactive screens are super helpful because it told us exactly where to find it <laughs> how far to go so we are going that way All right, back on our mission, guys. Back to find the real cinema. Cause our movie's gonna start here in a little bit. It took us a long time at the Burj Khalifa. Uh, I keep saying Burj Khalifa, Burj Al Arab. But we on our way now, so. We'll be there in a little bit. Still showing y'all a little bit of the mall though, while I'm walking. It does smell amazing in here. It smelled amazing in the Burj Al Arab. It smelled absolutely, like we've been in some hotels that smell absolutely amazing, but that hotel smelled just beyond. It was absolutely awesome. Some of the, some of the mall. So there's a new era store, Tommy Hilfiger, Under Armour. Under Armour has a huge store. There's the Nike store, Ray-Ban, Levi's, Aldo, Nine West. All right, we're going up the escalator. We'll be up there in a minute. All right, we are coming off the escalator. And we are here 
at the real cinema. There's the food court right across from it. And there's the big old giant sign over there for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in cinemas of February 16th. But we are going this way to get to the cinema, so. Okay, I'm following Will. I don't know that he went the right way. Cause I turned my back to go look at something and he was going this way. Y'all know he can't be trusted. Look at all <laughs> this Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Crazy. Will, turn around. All right, guys, we're headed into the Platinum Suites. <laughs> Hello. What time is the movie? Two forty. Yeah, the screen is ready. Maybe you wanna order for a while. Food, drinks. Um. You wanna oh. see the menu? Ah uh, yes. Let's see. Um, where's the restroom? That door for you, sir. Yeah. For you, that door. Okay. I will let him go first, and then I'll wait. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So this is the lounge in the Platinum Suites. So you have a lounge up here where you can sit. You can order some food. You can just hang out. It's really cozy, really comfortable. Uh, you can order snacks as well as actual food in here. So here is the lounge where it is just posh and beautiful. This is definitely where it's at, guys. If you are a movie buff and you like luxury, this is the type of luxury that you want to do. This is the type of luxury that you wanna, wanna be a part of. So, yeah. I'ma wait for Will to come back because I have to use the restroom and y'all know I got this jumpsuit on. I need, I need a little bit of time, I need a little time. But yeah, here we are in the Platinum Suites lounge uh, getting ready to go see Ant-Man. So I'll show you the seats when we, once we go over there. Okay, guys, I made sure nobody was in here. Quick second, let me show you the bathrooms. Each stall has its own sink and cleaning uh, wand to clean the toilet after you're done. And it smells amazing in here. I just wanted to show y'all that. All right, guys, we are headed into our movie. We've ordered our food. I'll show you that once it comes. But we are going to the platinum screens. Um, screen two. Thank you. Uh, D eight and seven, I believe. That's what I said. 